cost is uh, looking over one's shoulder and seeing where uh, one thinks one is going to be and then uh, looking into the future and seeing where that's going to take you. And uh, if you're going to hit an iceberg, you might want to change direction. Uh, likewise, a strategic plan is not a strategic goal or an objective. You can wake up one morning and say, well, I want to miss the iceberg, uh, but just thinking about it is not going to change the direction of the ship. And so we see that a strategic plan is a, tra tra a trajectory of continuous improvement of change within the business constraints, uh, as shown by this red line here. The red line happens to be an exponential curve. It's basically the same curve that you see uh, in the catenary in the bridge uh, below. It's the same path that the Titanic took to not quite miss the iceberg. It's the same path that any ship, car, or airplane will follow to change direction. And it turns out that it's the same path that an organization will follow in order to achieve strategic goals. And what we have here uh, out of the book From Good to Great by Jim Collins is the, the black line is the Wall Street performance of Gillette between 1975 and 1996. Uh, its chief executive, Coleman Mockler, appointed in 1975, developed a strategic goal to bring Gillette to what it is today as a global player with world-class leading products, uh, razors with five blades and vibrating engines and what have you. And uh, <clears throat> it took all of that time to achieve that. And the interesting thing about it was I scanned the picture, the graph out of the book from good to great, which incidentally, if you haven't read, I strongly recommend. And uh, I copied, literally copy and paste, the red line off the previous screen, uh, the 